basically what we're looking to do is we're going to figure out at what angle this piece needs to secure to this in order to meet our fender and then temporarily make it permanent make sure everything fits together and then we'll come back through and we got to make it permanent permanent along with a lot of the other welds on here so in order to do that get this thing in the ballpark where we're going to put it. Do. All right, so if you're somebody who isn't familiar with what a quarter turn fastener is, or some people call it a Zeus fastener, or Zeus, I don't know how you say this word. This is the bracket. This is the fastener. This piece turns, and in turn, turns this piece. This piece has a unique shape. Let's turn it slightly because it attaches onto that wire. So this piece would be mounted on the bracket behind the fender. This piece would be mounted on the fender. They would come together and secure themselves. This one is secure, but not totally because it doesn't have the anything between it. And that could be a problem. That's what causes that gap. But what we're really looking at is this. This is the magic. Just like that. So if I were to come over here and turn this fastener, it would no longer secure itself. Most certainly my most used drill bit is the eighth inch. I use it because uh, that's what my rivets are, eighth inch. So I seem to use them a lot. Especially when I'm relying on rivets to secure a lot of things, like brackets like this. We're going to still need that though. And I need this. Urgh. It'll have to do. It's the wrong drill bit. 530 seconds, you son of a bitch. Well, evidently, the eighth inch drill bit is my most commonly used and least put away. All right, temporary solution. Okay, when I say temporary, I mean temporary. They'll temporarily work until they permanently don't. At which point, we will find a more permanent solution. That guy's not going to be a solution for much. Cool. Temporary solution. That's a problem I've had before. So see how this fender comes down, 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 and then right here, like flat lines. And then big gap here, tight gap there, big gap there, tight gap there. Whoever was on the curve division of that math problem really fucked it up. You need more vertice, punk! What we're gonna end up doing, is so I'm just gonna come back through and take my cutting wheel and just 
cutted as flat as I can or maybe take a flat disc and just work that section back. I don't really know, fiberglass isn't my thing and well, that's, uh, that's part of the process, I guess. It's a drift car. I'm gonna use that as the excuse. It's a drift car.